Another weekend of football is in the books, and we want to talk about some of the high points here on Midwest Sports Now. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Thanks for watching as we cover small college and high school athletics in Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. And let's talk about some of the teams that are doing well. Undefeated teams still within the regional footprint in NCAA Division II. It is Central Missouri still with an undefeated record as well as Henderson State, Northwest Missouri, Washita, Pitt State, Southern Arkansas, Southwestern Oklahoma, and Truman, eight teams in D2 in this MidwestSports.net footprint still without a loss. Five teams in Division Three: Buena Vista, Central, Nebraska, Wesleyan, Wartburg, and Wash U. And in the NAIA, eight more teams without a loss. Benedictine, Evangel, Grandview, Hastings, Kansas Wesleyan, Morningside, Northwestern, Iowa, and Sterling. All those teams still have yet to put one in the loss column, still winning ball games left and right. And we want to de debut a new segment here on Midwest Sports Now, and that is the Prime Time Five, where we talk about high points from the weekend, our top five high points from football this weekend, as we'll talk about different sports as we go along. Honorable mention goes to Morningside. The Mustangs still undefeated, number one team in the country, 3-0 and right now. AP Ponder with 216 rushing yards and a pair of touchdowns as well. That's for honorable mention on the primetime five. We go now to number five, and it's Harding. The Bisons are 1-1 one one now on the season uh, with a 24-0 win over Arkansas Monticello. Corey Beatty had two interceptions for 152 return yards and one touchdown. The defense did its job, led by Beatty, of course, getting the shutout over the Bowl Weevils. And that is our number five moment. We move to number four now where the Bethel Threshers had another win. And this time the Threshers on the, on the offensive side of the ball really got things taken care of on the ground. As a matter of fact, the Threshers ran 52 plays on the afternoon on Saturday. 50 of them were rushing plays. However, the two pass plays were quite successful. Zach Esau to Braden Francis connected both times, the only two pass attempts of the afternoon. Both were completions, and both were for touchdowns, 76 and 59 yards, respectively, Esau to Francis, and the Threshers pick up the win. Our number three of our primetime five high points, the Benedictine Ravens. Ravens now 3-0 on the season, won 48-17 over Peru State. It was Marquis Stewart. Of course, it's that running game for the Ravens that continues to shine. Stewart had 18 carries for 253 yards and four touchdowns for Benedictine on Saturday. Ravens continue to be undefeated. It was a team effort from Briar Cliff pulling off another victory. And watch the Chargers now in the G-Pack. Our number two of our primetime five high points here, a 47-0 win over Dakota Wesleyan. And the Chargers get points in all kinds of ways here. Again, the team effort, not just offensive points. How about this? A touchdown from a block punt recovered in the end zone, an interception return for a touchdown, a kickoff return for a touchdown, and two more points for a safety as well. Uh, Chargers continue to roll. That should make for a pretty good matchup with a couple of the strong teams in the G-Pack a little bit later on, both Northwestern and Morningside. Need to be on the watch out for Briar Cliff. And the number one high point in our primetime five for this weekend, it's the Culver-Stockton Wildcats. The Wildcats 2-1 and one get a big win over Missouri Valley. The Vikings were previously undefeated. And uh, Culver-Stockton with the 40-24 to 24 victory over Missouri Valley. Corbin Markham, the quarterback, tied his own school record of six touchdown passes in a game, and he did so with 33 of 41 passing for 513 passing yards on the afternoon. Again, Culver Stockton with the victory over Missouri Valley. That's a look at our Primetime Five. Hope you enjoyed our debut segment of the Primetime Five. We'll be back with more of this on this YouTube channel. Please do subscribe and share and like. Subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate that. And don't forget to watch our primetime show or our flagship show, if you will. I'm used to saying primetime now. The flagship show is Midwest Sports Saturday. And we'll be coming to you this Saturday, September 21st at 4 o'clock. will be when the live stream starts at Langston. That's right, Langston. The Lions hosting the Oklahoma Panhandle Aggies. 
That kickoff should be at 6 o'clock, and our coverage will start at 4 o'clock here on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. God bless you. Have a great day.